Hey guys, so as promised, here is my updated Wii U collection of 2014. And this is mainly to see how far my collection has grown from last year's uh, video. So at any point, if you want to see last year's video, just click on the U and it will send you that video and then you can come back and finish watching this video to see how far my collection has grown. So the Wii U has had a great year, not only because of its stellar first party lineup games, but as well as its consistency in providing fans what they want. So my Wii U collection has grown a lot from the past year, from 13 games to about 30. Because I have a lot of Wii U games, I haven't been able to play all of them. Some of them I just got for Christmas today, which is what I'm filming. So without further ado, I might as well show off my collection in alphabetical order. So the first game I have is Assassin's Creed 3. I remember last year I said it, I wasn't really a big fan of this game just because it was pretty boring. The mission structures weren't that unique. A lot of it was just in tedium. And since this is my first Assassin's Creed game, it really put me off of the series. But that didn't prevent me from purchasing Assassin's Creed 4 just because there's so much hype surrounding this game and people saying this is way better than Assassin's Creed 3. And so I decided to give this one a chance. But I still haven't played it since it's still wrapped. But when I do play it, I'll tell you guys what I think and if it redeems the Assassin's Creed series for me. So this game I just got for Christmas and it's been getting a lot of praise, a lot of high review scores, and a lot of Game of the Year mentions. And that game is Bayonetta 2. So this comes with the original Bayonetta, which I'm really excited about since I haven't played the first Bayonetta. And I heard that the Nintendo exclusive costumes in it really provide a fresh new take to this series. But this uh, God of War-esque kind of game is right up my alley in action adventure games. So I can't wait to play it. So next, I have Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I'm not a big Call of Duty fan. I just bought it just to see how it plays on the Nintendo Wii U. I also got Call of Duty Ghosts. Once again, I haven't really played these games too much. Mostly just played multiplayer with my brother. But I got these for cheap, so I'm glad I got them for cheap since I haven't really played them at all that much yet. So this game I also got for Christmas. Many people thought it was an extensive DLC for Super Mario 3D World, and that is Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. I'm kind of glad it was its own released game just because they can pack more content into this game. As well as it being another physical release, it adds another game to my collection. I haven't played it yet, but I'm excited to, and I heard it's a really great creative puzzle game. This game I did not get for Christmas, but it's still wrapped because I haven't played it since. And that is Deus Ex Human Revolution. I heard this is the definitive version of the game. And I can't wait to see if that's true. This is my favorite platformer on the Wii U. It's probably in my top five favorite games of 2014. And I've spent a lot of time with it. With it. I've 100%ed it. And I could get to 200%, but I still have to play my other games. And that game is Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. A lot of people were kind of complaining about how this isn't as good as the original Donkey Kong Country Returns, but I think it's way better just because of its uh, enhanced visuals and its really clever level design. So this game is also another game I got for Christmas, and that is DuckTales Remastered. So this game wasn't wrapped just because GameStop was being stupid and doesn't wrap their games for some reason. But I heard this is a great remaster of the original Duck Hunt, DuckTales. I haven't played the original DuckTales, so this is a whole new experience for me. But I can't wait to give it a shot. And I also like platformers, so that's a bonus. So if it's anything like Cranky Kong and D Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, then it'll be a cool little game. I also got this game for Christmas, and that is Hyrule Warriors. A lot of people have mixed opinions on this just because it's not a true Legend of Zelda game but I've never played a Dynasty Warriors game so this is a, a really new experience for me so I can't wait to see what this action game is all about. Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD a classic remastered for the Wii U. The updated visuals are really gorgeous and the amount of content and adventure in this game is unparalleled to any other adventure action game. 
So, I haven't really completed it yet. I should go back and finish it, but I can't wait to delve into this world again. I got this game back in the summer of this year and I haven't played it, so that's why it's still wrapped. And that is Lego City Undercover. I heard this game is not like a, a traditional Lego game, so I can't wait to try it for that reason. So the next game I have is Lego Marvel Super Heroes. I've only played a bit of this. I do want to go back and try it out. I've been playing it with my family because it has a co-op feature. So I do like Marvel and I do want to see where this, how the story plays out, even though the story is not even that great, but just the scenarios that they put these Marvel heroes in is interesting to watch. I do have New Super Mario Bros. U and New Super Luigi U. These are great platformers. Not as good as Donkey Kong Tr Country Tropical Freeze or Rayman Legends for that matter, but they're still good launch games. Well, New Super Mario Bros. U is a great launch game and this is a great DLC pack. So I'm glad I have these in my collection. This game I had on the Wii. I didn't really put too much time into it, but I've always wanted to put time into it. So now that they have a remastered version on the Wii U, I picked up Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. I do want to get into this. I heard it's a really great time sucker and maybe I'll start off with the online multiplayer first before I go into the single player since a lot of people have fun in that mode. So I'll check that out and I hope this will grab me more than it, the Wii did. This game I got within like the first few months that I got the Wii U and that is Mass Effect 3. I did say I was going to try to check it out last year but I never ended up playing it. I do want to get into this and I really do want to see why the ending of this game is mixed among a lot of people. Need for Speed Most Wanted You. I got this on Black Friday and I haven't really opened it since but I heard this is the definitive version of the game and I can't wait to check it out. So speaking of racing games I have Mario Kart 8 probably one of the best Mario Kart games in the series. I've spent a lot of hours into this not only in the local multiplayer but also in the online the DLC that came out recently is one of the best downloadable add-ons to any game, I think, and a great value. I do want to check out the Amiibo features and maybe play with some more of this. So, Nintendo Land, I got this with the launch of the console, and it's a great party game, great game to show off the Wii U's capabilities, and I think a lot of people won't like this if it's, if it's just them playing it, but since I have a, a family who enjoys video games it's fun to play it with others so a great game and I had a great time with it I have a uh, Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge it's still sealed I got this for cheap like at Best Buy for seven dollars and I heard this is the definitive version of it so I want to give it a shot so this next game I have no clue why I got it but it was pretty cheap on Amazon so why not and that was Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures I heard it's mediocre at best but um, maybe when I have relatives who are younger, they, they enjoy this so they can play it. So this is probably the second best platformer on the Wii U, and that is Rayman Legends. This has great multiplayer features, up to five players, one player controlling the gamepad and the other four playing on the TV. It has great level design, great art style, and even though it was delayed for about six months, I think they added a lot more content than if they released it earlier. It is a bummer that it did release later, but still a great game nonetheless. So I haven't really put in any time into these two games, Scribblenauts Unlimited and Scribblenauts Unmasked. Unmasked is still wrapped, but I have played a little bit of Scribblenauts Unlimited. It's like any other Scribblenauts game, so I can't wait to try to figure out what I can create with my words and stuff. Can't wait to get into these games and see where it takes me. I also got this game just to see what all the hype was about, and that was Skylander Swap Force. I only have the figures that it came with, which are like this ninja and fire and water octopus thing. It's an alright game. It's not really for me, but maybe I'll go back and see if it improves in level design and stuff. So this game was everyone's substitute before Mario Kart 8 came out, and that is Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed. Um, I didn't really put too much time into this, but I do recognize that it's a great racing game and I should try to check this out some more, play the single player a bit more, play multiplayer, but now that Mario Kart 8 came out I don't think a lot of people including me will give this a chance 
So this next game I got on Black Friday, and that is Sonic Lost World Deadly Six Bonus Edition. I really gotta figure out how to get these controls down since I'm not really good at this game. If the controls are as clunky as I played in, then I recognize why there's so many mixed opinions on this. But if I do get the hang of it, I will probably like it because the level design, while it is reminiscent of Mario Galaxy, it, it has some kind of creativity to it. Uh, so this game was a multi-plat game that I really enjoyed, and that is Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Blacklist. This is one of the better third-party Wii U games out right now. I don't know if I would go so far to say this is the definitive version, just because it lacks um, local co-op uh, missions and stuff, which I was kind of hoping for. And it does have some stripped-down uh, missions and stuff, because it's on the Wii U, which sucks. But what is there is really great and I think the stealth mechanics and stuff combined with the Wii U gamepad's capabilities really offers a great personalized uh, stealth game which I don't think any other console can offer so I do appreciate it for that. The next game I have came out around the same time last year and that is Super Mario 3D World one of the best uh, Mario 3D platformers. I still like Mario Galaxy series a bit more than this, but this is a great contender. I played through this game two times, one with my family, one by myself. I've gone through the secret world, but I haven't gotten all the green stars and stamps and gold flags yet. So this game is the last game I got for Christmas. I did show it off on my last pickups video, and that is Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. I'm playing this the most right now, about 10 hours so far since I got it. I did buy three Amiibos with it, Zelda, Link, and Luigi. They are still in the packaging. Not because I'm not using them right now, but because I cut the bottom of them and took out the metal strip and stuff. That way I can just preserve how awesome they look inside the packaging. This is by far the best Super Smash Bros. game in the series. And even though I do have the Super Smash Bros. for the 3DS, I think this offers a lot of great new variety and stuff to really make this game a fresh new play. And speaking of games that were created by Bandai Namco, I do have Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Wii U Edition, a great fighting game. Um, I've put in about 8 or 9 hours, and I do want to put some more into it because it's. I'm a big fan of the Tekken series, and this is a great addition to that franchise. So I got this game for $30 with the Wii Remote Plus controller, and that is Wii Party U, a great party game. Like most mini game collections, it does get stale after a while. But for the time I had with it, it was great. The next game I have is The Wonderful 101. This is one of the best action games I've played on the Wii U. I know a lot of review sites gave this not the best review scores, and there are a lot of mixed opinions in the professional gaming media and stuff. But this does not deserve that much criticism. The controls are really great once you get the hang of them. Of course, it has a really steep learning curve. But once you get past the curve, it was one of the best action games last year. And because this is created by Platinum Games, the same people who created Bayonetta 2, I can't wait to try out Bayonetta 2. So the last game I have is Zombie U. Um, I have opened it, I have played it. It is a scary game. I haven't put too much time into it because I have a lot of other games to complete. But I do want to get back into it just because it re has really unique gamepad capabilities and stuff. So I can't wait to check that out. And that wraps up my Wii U collection for this year. I've really started buying a lot of Wii U games this year. And if there were any games that you didn't see that you thought, how could he not have it? Then check out part two of this video where I go through all my Wii U virtual games. Because some of those games might be the ones you're thinking of. Happy holidays to all and be sure to check out my other video game collections including the 3DS and the PS3. So take care. Bye-bye.